Hey everyone, how you guys doing? It's Tony here, and I'm going to bring you the Zareth rework. Here we go. I will give you all his abilities, all the details, and all the AP ratios. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Okay, hey everyone, how you guys doing? We're in game now, and I am going to give you a little preview of all his new abilities and all his new skins. Sadly, I do not have someone here to help me. So I can't show you the damage, but I can tell you the AP ratios and give you a little thought on how the damage will apply. So first, while we're waiting to begin this, why don't I start off with telling you guys about his new passive. So his new passive is Overwhelming Power. Not sure if they changed the name because I've actually never played Xerath before, I've only seen him be played. So I know a little bit about him, just not about what his spells are called. So if I'm wrong, just tell me in the comments. Here we go. Overwhelming Power. He gains 3% spell penetration. And then every 10 seconds, Zeros' next base attack restores 4% of his maximum mana, and attacking the enemy champion restores 3 times that amount. So that's pretty cool. I actually like that. The 3% magic pen is a really good upgrade on anyone, to be honest. So first, let's go right into it. He's Q, Arcano Pulse. And um, it's sort of the same, but sort of different at the same time. So Zeros charges and then fires a beam of energy, dealing 70 plus 13 magic damage to all enemies hit. Charging the spell increases range. So what I mean is by this. If you don't charge the spell, the spell goes like this. However, if you do charge the spell, which I'll show you right here in a second, you can increase its range. So it's a bit of a nerf from the other one since it does take longer to charge, and you can only hold it for a certain amount of time. Leveling up this ability will increase the damage, decrease the cooldown, and increase the mana cost. There we go, and that's a full range one right there. His next ability, his new W, is Cosmic Strike. This costs 100 mana. Xerath calls down a blast of arcane energy, dealing 50 plus 9 magic damage to all enemies within the target area, slowing them by 10% for 3 seconds. However, enemies right dead in the center of the blast take 60% extra damage, and they're slowed by 35% instead. So here we go, let me show you that. And that's pretty much it. If you get hit by a little beam, you can take extra damage. Leveling this up, will give you more damage, the cooldown will be reduced, the slow amount will actually stay the same, and the mana cost of course will be increased. His next ability, his E, they did change it. Now it's no longer a targeted ability in which you gotta land that and then land another ability to stun them, however now it's a skill shot on its own that stuns them upon contact. So let's read it. Xerath unleashes an orb of raw magic damage to 100 plus 9 magic damage. The orb explodes on contact, stunning the enemy for one second. So let me give you a little preview of it. Throw orb like that. Simple skill shot. I'll be back in about a second. Leveling up Xerath E will increase the damage, decrease the cooldown, increase sun duration, and increase the mana cost. Now finally his ult, Ascension. Xerath ascends to his true form, briefly gaining arcane vision of a large area around himself. He becomes rooted in place, and his basic abilities are disabled, but he gains four shots of very long distance magic artillery. Fire these shots off with either the left or right mouse button. This effect lasts up to seven seconds or until it's deactivated. When ascension is active, Xerath takes 10% less damage and he cannot be moved by displacement effects. However, they can briefly stun him. And now let's see what this bomb does. So Xerath bombards the target area with explosive energy, deals 150 plus 7 magic damage all enemies hit. So let me give you an example. I'll give you true vision of this huge circle around you, and you can left click to fire wherever you want. This is quite a actually large range here, however it only lasts for 7 seconds, so use it wisely. Okay, and now it's time to give you the level scaling. So his Q scales 85% with AP, his W scales 60%, his E also scales 60%, and his ALT scales 45%. Now I could tell this by I got enough for 100 ability power, and then simply I just yeah added the ratios. Time to take a look at all the different skins. <laughs> 